What is up, my dudes and dudettes? This is Chip Beecherson, and I'm back in the classroom. You thought you could keep me away. You thought I wouldn't come back, but here I am for another Rad Lab with Mr. Koga. Ready to get gnarly. Okay, so Mr. Koga was nice enough to let me come back to talk to you guys, to teach you a little bit, and possibly to blow and bottle some minds. All right, so on the agenda for today, I want to do a lab, but I'm just having trouble coming up with the concept. How do we connect back to the landforms, to the bodies of water? Because that's what we do at Rio del Sol. We connect. We always come back to the river. The river's right out there. It's right there. Okay. So I'm having trouble coming up with it. So wait, hold on. My phone's ringing. So weird. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me let me take this call. I'll be right back. Hey Chip, I always want to see the Grand Canyon because it's such amazing views. But I was curious, how's the Grand Canyon created? I gotta call you back, Emma. Oh my gosh. Sometimes the universe is so gnarly, it just provides you with inspiration and you just gotta take it. Life gives you lemons, you make some gnarly lemonade. She asked a great question. That's what this class is good at, asking good questions. So Emma asked, how did the Grand Canyon get there? How does that gnarly land form, one of the gnarliest canyons in the whole world, how does that get there? So let's study that today. And then let's unpack the connection, the relationship between rivers and canyons. Let's see how they connect today. All right, let's jump into this rad lab. Here we go. Three, two, one. Aww.